I nourish Yahushua, Messiah before everybody. That Yahushua is Messiah. Yahushua is Messiah. Yahushua is the truth. Yahushua is the light. Yahushua is salvation. Yahushua is the name of Yahuwah. Those who call on the name of Yahuwah will be saved. Yeremiah chapter 16, 19. O oh, Yahuwah, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Now I'm going to go to the book, book of Mika. Mika chapter 2, Mika chapter 4, verse 5. Micah chapter 4, verse 5. For all people will walk, everyone, in the name of his mighty one. And we will walk in Yahushua, the name of our Almighty, forever and ever. And now I'm going to Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Azi of Yahuwah. Azi of Yahuwah reign in the time of the latter reign. So Yahuwah shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone, to everyone grass in the field. Verses 2. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore, they went their own, their own way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. Now let's go to Psalm. Chapter 19, some of the week, chapter 9, verse 10. Some of the week, chapter 9, verse 10. The stuff of 9, some of the week, chapter 9, verse 9 to 10. Yahuwah also would be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge. In time of trouble, during Jacob trouble, the Gentiles, the heathens, and this will be our people because the word Gentiles, it can miss our people as well. Our people are still stuck in the metric, in the ways of this war because they're going to come to Yahuwah. And no other nation knows Yahuwah besides our people. So, Yeremiah chapter 16, 19, it could be referring to our people. Oh, Yahuwah, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in a day of affliction, Jacob trouble, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and say, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, 
and things were in there was no profit so this could be referring to our people as well as you say to the tutor and then i go to psalm 9 verses 9 to 10 but in the day of trouble you are going to be our refuge in the day of trouble the gentiles which are people that, that are still confounded to the that's still in the in the things of this world that's still in babylon they're going to come to yahuwah and say our fathers have inherited lies but we that know yahushua the name of yahuwah yahushua going to be our refuge because we know yahushua name and we believe in yahushua name yahushua is our refuge in the day of affliction, in the day of trouble, in the day of Jacob trouble, and this why this individual of people that will come to Yahweh and say, "Oh Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited their lies, vanity." And things were in, there's no profit. There could, this could be our people as well. Because our people are scattered in the ends of the earth. And on every Psalm 9, verse 9 to 10, Yahweh also would be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the times of trouble. Verses 10. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Yahuwah, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Those that know Yahushua will put our trust, our hope, our belief, our mona in Yahushua, the name of Yahuwah. This lesson, this message, this fellowship will be focused on the name, on the name Yahusha. And we must all ask, does the Yahuwah share? Yahuwah does not share. So we're going to focus on the name today. Where it came from. We're not going to get too deep, deep, deep. But we're just going to touch on it. The believers have touched on this name. So today we're going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about it today as well. Where it come from? Who made it up? Is there power in it? Is it a name? It's not a name because I'm one of those that I see you with Yahushua name. So I'm a living witness that this is not a name. But we're going to shine light on this name. Who brought this name? As you can see, the person that represents this name. It's an Edomite. Yet what I said to the wicked. What do you have to do with my words? Yeah. The good sound. The good boy with some of the weed chapter of 
50. Some of those of the 50. Some of the we chapter fifty verse sixteen. But unto the wicked it always says what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, my stat my statutes for thou thou shalt take us my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest and walk behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou was consulted with him, and has been partaken with idolaters. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue from deceit. Thou said it and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things has that has that was done and I kept selling that told us that I was to get us such as one as thyself but I will reprove thee and set them in order before the eyes so behind his name is a, is an Edomite so Yahweh said to the wicked, which is Esau, what do they have to do with Yahweh words? To speak Yahweh words and to make false name to lead Yahweh people astray. But we that know Yahushua, the name of Yahweh, we chosen Yahushua. We are sealed with Yahushua name. Now, let's go to the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. Deuteronomy chapter 4. The seven Deuteronomy chapter 4. Verse 24. And this is the ESV spot. Let me get another translation. This is all the NRV, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. For Yehovah, your Almighty, is consuming fire, is zealous Almighty. After you have had children and grandchildren and have lived in the land a long time. If you then become corrupt and make any kind of idol doing evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, your Almighty, and arousing his anger, I call the heavens and the earth as witness, as witnesses against you this day that you will quickly, you will quickly perish from the land that you are causing the journey to possess. Now I want to show the face of this idol. That when those that worship this idol, 
that call on the name of this idol, they are, they are angry with Yahuwa. But they don't know it. Because what is what is worse than, than sin itself is ignorance. When you are sinning and you are not aware of it, that's a way every that's a way every bad and worse than the sin itself. Ignorance is worse than the sin itself. Because when you're in there and then you don't know, then there's no remedy. It's like you are sick. You don't know you you are not aware that you are sick. Then you won't seek a remedy. But if you're aware you are you are sick, then you're gonna seek a healer. You're gonna seek Yahushua, our healer. So they found this idol. And yet what to us in your own words that we should not make an image. These images, they are already made. So you should have nothing to do with the images or the name. Or the doctrines that follows. If the image is false, the name is false, the doctrines, they are false also. False mighty ones of the nations. And now let me read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. For Yahuwah, your Almighty, is consuming fire, is zealous all, Almighty. After you have had children and grandchildren and have lived in the land a long time, if you then become corrupt and make any kind of idol doing evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, your Almighty, and arousing his anger, I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you this day that you will quickly perish from the land that you are causing the Jordan to possess. When Musa, the Levite, when he said this, then he called the heaven and the earth to be witness against those that make idols, that make images, that make false images and false names. He was calling everything that is on the earth, the angels, the spirits, because there's spirits on the earth, you don't see them. There's angels on the earth, you don't see them. There's angels in the air, you don't see them. There's angels in all the heavens, you don't see them. But they are witnesses against you. Maybe you, you do not make this image. So, judgment is passed over you. Because you, you do not make this image. But are you worshipping the name of this image? This is such a bogea, red, white, and blue. Such a bogea, Jesus Christ, and this is Yahawasha. So the angels, the messengers on the earth, in the air, in all the heavens, they are witness against those that made this image. That. Those that worship it, those that made it and worship it, they are arousing your anger. And now, they go to Exodus chapter 20. That Yahuwah says, We shall not make an image. Because Yahuwah, Yah himself came. Yah was manifested in flesh and came. So if you make an image, that's not Yah, Yahuwah, Yah, Yahushua. It's an idol. When Yahushua comes for the second time, these images, it's not Yahushua. 
none of these images is Yahushua. Therefore, they are false. They are idols. Exodus, Shamut, Samut, chapter 20. And Yahuwah spoke all these words. I am Yahuwah, the Almighty, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. And this is the first command. Yahuwah says, You shall have no other mighty ones before me. That's the first command. They shall have no other mighty one before Yahuwah. What is a mighty one? What is a mighty man? A mighty man is a man that have abilities, that have power, authority, that has strength, that has speed, that have knowledge from Yahuwah. Example of a mighty man would be Dawi, Samson, Gideon. What is a mighty one? A mighty one is a spirit, an angel, a force, a deity. An idol. That is set up to be worshipped. And beyond these images, there is a spirit. Because people worship it, so there have to be a spirit beyond it to collect the praises of the people. Twenty verse two, the first command. Yahuwah says, "I am Yahuwah." Yah who services, who brought you out of the out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other mighty ones before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in the heavens above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. So this image goes against what Yahweh says. Twenty verse four: You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in the heavens above, on the earth beneath, or in the waters be below. In the waters below, you shall not bow to them or worship them, for I Yahweh. Your Almighty and Miserus all punishing the children for their sins, for their sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. So if you sin against Yahuwah, you hate Yahuwah. If you do not hug under Yahuwah Almighty, you hate Yahuwah. Six, by showing love. To a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. To hear Yahuwah is not a hug unto Yahuwah. It's not to love Yahuwah. To love Yahuwah is to kiss Yahushua, to give esteem to Messiah Yahushua. To acknowledge that Yahushua is Messiah and to do the will of the Abba. These people that made these images, the one on the left and the one on the right. Is it pleasing before Yahuwah Almighty? No. 
ko ye wa shikwere ke fo ko me na no make an image na no make an image of anything in the heavens above of image on the earth below of image of anything in the waters beneath the earth Yahushua says Baruch are those that have not seen but yet believe. All we need is belief, belief and work. We do, we, don't, we do not need an image. Because you ought to us not to make an image. All we need is belief and work. We are working, we believe, with our seeing that fulfill the scriptures, Yahweh says, we work by, by belief and not by sight. We do not need an image. If you have an, an image, then it's not belief. Revelation chapter 114 Concerning Yahushua our Messiah. Yahushua the Lamb, Yahushua the Truth. This is what Yahuguna saw. Yahushua, Yahuguna saw Yahushua our Messiah in the Shemahan after Yahushua rose on the third day. In his hair, in his hair, in his hair, in his hair, hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes as a flame of fire, and his feet on the farm brass as if they burn in your furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. But Yahuna did not say make an image. Yahuna was aware the command Yahweh gave to us do not make an image of anything in the heavens above, of anything on the earth below, of anything in the waters beneath the earth. Yahuna spoke the words how Yahushua looked. Yahuna, Yahuna did not say make an image because that's contrary to Yahushua Messiah. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 Yahuwah says you shall not have no other mighty ones you shall have no other mighty ones before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below you shall not bow down to them or worship them for I Yahuwah your Almighty and Mercedes Almighty punishing the children for the sin of their parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me but showing love to thousands, to thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Second, Second Corinthians eleven verse fourteen. And no wonder, for Hashatan disguises himself as an Amalek, as an angel, as a messenger of light. Hashatan is the adversary. Hashatan is the destroying Malak, the destroying angel. According to Revelation chapter 120, Psalm. 147 forces four angels are stars stars are angels that makes Hashatan the devil an angel as well and he disguises himself as a malak a messenger of light meaning the evening star or as we say Venus is the evening star Venus is the evening star and I start come up 
in the evening and in the morning. The first to come and the last to leave. That's why we say evening star because why you can see the star in the evening and in the morning before sunrise and after sunset. You can see the star called Venus, which is the evening star, and he disguises himself as an angel of light. So when you see that star up in the night, which is the second to the moon, whether you believe that it's an angel of light, first you have to know that stars are angels. And the next step is when you see that star, he appears as an angel of light. Spiritually meaning and disguising himself as a messenger of light. So in his in his image, the clarification is Shatan is disguised as Jesus. Meaning Jesus is Shatan. Shatan is Jesus as above so below. Below on this earth, Shatan is Jesus Christ. In the dark realm, he is Shatan. On earth, he is Jesus Christ. And no wonder for how Shatan disguises himself as an angel of light. So the key word is disguise, meaning the devil appear as white Jesus or red Jesus Christ. Shatan, High Shatan has many names, and one of them is this name, Jesus, Earth Peak, Abomination. As above, so below. Above, in his firmament, or in the firmament, in his realm, he is Shatan. On his earth, he is Jesus. Of peak abomination as above so below Exodus chapter 20 and Yahuwah spoke all these words saying I am Yahuwah the Almighty who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Three, you shall have no other mighty ones before me. You shall make for yourself an image in the form of anything in the heavens above, on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them. Or worship them. For I, Yahuwah, your Almighty, am a zealous Almighty, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to thousand, to thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. The command is. Worship Yahuwah and Yahuwah only. Kiss Yahushua and knowledge Yahushua is Messiah. Yahushua is the truth. Yahushua is the light. If you're in darkness, Yahushua. If you don't have salvation, Yahushua is salvation. Those that seek for the truth, Yahushua is truth. Those that seek light in darkness, Yahushua is light. The sheep, Yahushua is our shepherd. Those who are dying in ignorance and sin, Yahushua is knowledge. Yahushua is Yah who take away sin. Behold, Yahushua the Lamb who take away the sins of the world, the world of his people. Now look at Exodus chapter 23. 
Exodus chapter 23. Verse 13. Be careful to do everything I have said to you. Do not invoke the names of other mighty ones. Do not let them be heard on your lips. G-O-D is the name of the mighty one. Go on Google and search G-O-D in capital letters. And this is the image you get. This is your G-O-D. This is the G-O-D of the nation. This is the G-O-D of this war. This is the idol of this war. G-O-D is an idol. Exodus chapter 23, verses 13. Yahweh says, Yahweh spoke to Musa the Levite, saying, Be careful to do everything I have said to you. Do not invoke the names of the might of all the mighty ones. Do not speak their name. Do not give a stem to them. The image is false, the name is false. Exodus chapter 23, verse 13. Be careful to do everything I have said to you. Do not evoke the names of all the mighty ones. Do not let them be heard on your lips. It's a command not to speak the name of G-O-D. Not to worship the image of G-O-D. This is the image you get. The name and the image is false, it's an idol, it's an abomination for us, the children of Yeshua, of Jacob, of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, Abraham, Yeshak, and Yeshua, or to speak the name of G-O-D, it's an abomination, it's a sin, it's a great sin, punishable by death. Exodus chapter 23, 13, be careful to do everything I have said to you. Do not invoke the names of other mighty ones. Do not let them be heard on your lips. And now, let go do. G-O-D spells in small letters. This proves that English is a tricky language. It's the language of the serpent. This is Esau language. Big G-O-D is an idol. Small G-O-D it's an idol. These are the mighty ones. This is the mighty one of this world. Ignorance. Ignorance is the mighty one of this world. The whole world is ignorant. You always say, come out of Babylon. Come out of home, all my people. So now, let's go to Revelation. English is a tricky language. All right, people will argue. Big G O D and small G O D, it's not the same. Small G O D and big G O D, what's the difference? Same name, pronounce the same, give give the same vibration. So that's the trick. However, however you spell the big G-O-D or small G-O-D, it's the same devil. He comes, he comes in different names to different people. This is the mighty one of this war. This is ignorance. This is the serpent. In the garden, as long as you don't worship your Uwa in your Hushua name, the devil is happy. 
as long as you are ignorant. Because why the devil is ignorance. If you are ignorant, Yahushua is the knowledge of Yahuwah. If you are in darkness, Yahushua is the light of this world. If you are dying in your, in your sins and transgressions, Yahushua is Mashiach. She will bear a son, a man, and shall call his name Yahushua. For Yah, Yahushua will save his people from that sins. Yahushua is, is Yah who will save. I acknowledge publicly, before everybody, before the whole world, Yahushua is Messiah. As for me and my house, I will worship Yahuwah in Yahushua name. I will worship Yahuwah in Yahushua name. Revelation chapter 18. After this, I saw another angel and Malak coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. Verse 2 With a mighty voice, he shouted, Falling, falling is Babylon the Great. She has become a donor for demons. And G.O.D. is the king of the demons. G.O.D. is the king of all the demons. Falling, falling is Babylon, the great. She has become a donor for demons and a hound for every impure spirit. G.O.D. is an impure spirit. She has become a donor for demons, a hound for every impure spirit, a hound for every unclean bird. All right. What type of bird do the people serve you? What does KFC serve you? Chicken. Anything that works on full leg is an abomination. Any bird that works on full leg is an abomination. How many, how many legs, how many fingers does a chicken have? Four. Alright. Chicken. Is a national food. If you not eat chicken in this world, they look at you as crazy. If you not eat pig, they look at you as crazy. When Yahushua cast out the demons, they went into the pigs. After this, I saw another Malak. A messenger coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Falling, falling is Babylon, the great, which is a miracle in her religion of G.O.D. worship. As we come out, she falls. As we, the elect of Yahuwah, called by Yahushua, Come out of Babylon, she falls. We are the salt of this earth. If we leave, we should leave the system, the matrix. We should leave Babylon spiritually. We should renew our minds. We should wash away our feet in Yahushua name. We should, we should wash our garments. In the blood of Yahushua. We are the salt of the earth. As we come out from Babylon, Babylon falls. The more we come out from Babylon, Babylon falls. We, the people, it's necessary to come out of Babylon. It's a command. Now you see for yourself who G.O.D. is. Now we are shining light on G.O.D., small G.O.D. and big G.O.D. That this is a lifeless idol, a worthless idol. That have no life, that have no breath, that has no salvation in it. 
that it is an abomination to Yahuwah, the living power, the living almighty. After this, I saw another Malak coming down from heaven and he had great authority and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Falling, falling is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place for demons, a hunt for every impure spirit, a hunt for every unclean bird, a hunt for every unclean and detestable animal. Jury, for all the nations have drunk the, the meninous wine of her, of her adultery. So Babylon makes the wine that everybody, every nation have drunk. Every nation is worshiping G-O-D. Every nation is worshiping this idol. This idol of Babylon. The idol of Egypt. The idol of Nineveh, the idol of Sodom and Gomorrah, the idol, this idol of Sodom and Egypt. Everybody is on this ignorance. Everybody is on this dark cloud. Everybody is drinking the wine of G-O-D, of this idol. Verse 3, for all the nations have drunk the many wine of adulteries, of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her. And the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. All right. And with the fall, then I heard another voice from the heaven saying, then I heard another voice from heaven, Say, come out of her, all my people, so that you will not be, so that you will not share in her in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are great, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and Yahuwah has remembered her her crimes, give back to her as she has she has given, pay her back double for what she has done. Pour a double portion from her own cup. Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart she burst. I sit in tunnel as a queen. I'm no widow. I will never mourn. Devil in one day her plagues will overtake her. Death Morning, family, death, moon, and family. She will be consumed by fire. For mighty is Yahuwah Almighty who judges her. It's a command to come out of Babylon. This is Babylon. This is America. As the rapper said, this is Babylon. This is America. The land of confusion. The land of pollution. The land of Delusion, the land of confusion, delusion, delusion. The land of confusion, the land of darkness, the land of ignorance, the land of pride. And this is the mighty one of pride. This is Babylon. This is America. Come out of Babylon. It's a command from Yahuwah. There's a plague in Babylon, coronavirus. Take the ye and come out of Babylon today. Give to Babylon her mighty one. Give her back her mighty one. Give her back her idols. Her lifeless form. Her lifeless idols. Give, her, give it back to her. And turn to Yahuwah. Almighty. As we speak these words, Yahuwah Almighty in the Shamahin looks at everybody's hearts that heard this word. Yahuwah sees every, every man and woman's heart. 
as we speak the words in Yahuwah, Yahushua name. May Yahuwah grant you salvation in Yahushua name. May Yahuwah grant you deliverance in Yahushua name. May Yahuwah deliver you from ignorance in Yahushua name. May Yahuwah save you in Yahushua, Yahuwah name. May you see the light. Yahushua is the light in Yahushua name. May your chains be loose in Yahushua name. May you come out of Babylon in Yahushua name and turn to Yahuwah, the living almighty, Yah, who saved Yahushua. And now the girl in the book of Yeremiah who? Yeremiah who? Let's go to the book of Psalm. Psalm 96, I believe. The book of Psalm of Dawi 96. And Dawi say, Sing to Yehua a new song. Sing to Yehua, all the earth. Sing to Yehua. Praise Yahushua, his name. Proclaim Yahushua, his salvation day after day. Yahushua is salvation. I proclaim Yahushua is salvation. Sing to Yahuwah a new song. Sing to Yahuwah all the earth. Sing to Yahuwah. Praise His name. Yahushua is Yahuwah's name. Declare. Proclaim His salvation day after day. Yahushua is salvation. Yahushua is Yahuwah's salvation. Verse 3. Declare His esteem among the nations. His marvelous deeds among all peoples for great is Yahuwah and most worthy of praise Yah is to be feared above all mighty ones Yahushua is Yah Yah is Yahushua hallelujah for great is Yahuwah and most worthy of praise Yah is to be feared above all mighty ones Verses 5. For all the mighty ones of the nations are idols. But Yahuwah made the Shamahim, the heavens, 
splendor and majesty are before him. We are talking about the seraphim, the cherubim, the thrones, the virtues, the powers, the principalities, the authorities, the malachim and the ark malachim. There's nine choirs of angels before the throne of Yahuwah. For great is Yahuwah and most worthy of praise. Yah, Yahushua is to be feared above all mighty ones. For all the mighty ones of the nation are idols. But Yahuwah made the Shemahim, the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and esteem are in his sanctuary. And then I go to Psalm 14, verse 4. Psalm 14, verse 4. Let's start with Psalm 14, verse 1. For the director of music. Of that we the fool says in his heart there is no almighty they are corrupt that these are vile there is no one who does good yet what looks down from the heavens on all mankind yet who is high and lifted up very very exalted but you are the exalted one the living one Looks down upon everybody. You always lift it up, but then you always look down on everybody. You always look down from heaven, from Shaman, on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek Yahua. All have turned away, all have become corrupt. There's no one who does good, not even one. And then I go to Psalm 97 verse 7. Psalm 97, verse 7. All who worship images are put to shame. Those who boast in idols worship him. Worship Yahweh, all you mighty ones. All those that worship idols are put to shame. This is a shameless idol. And those that worship this image, they are put to shame. On the day of Yahuwah, they will be put to shame. And now look what the, the book of Deuteronomy. Four verses. Let's start with twenty-seven. And this was our curse that we're gonna worship this image, this false image, the false idol. This was our punishment because we 
choose not to worship you over the Almighty of our ancestors. So, therefore, you will give us to the hand of the spiritual enemy, to the hand of G.O.D., the adversary, and to the hand of the people of G.O.D. that want to worship this false image. And now I go to Deuteronomy 4, verse 27, which this was our curse. Let us pray that you will remove this curse from on us. In Yahushua name, Yahweh will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which Yahweh will drive you. That you will worship men made mighty ones, idols of wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or eat or smell. But from there, but if from there you see Yahuwah, your Almighty, you will find Yahuwah. If you seek Him with all your heart, with all your soul. And now I'm going to go to the book of Yahugana. Then when you seek Yahuwah, Almighty, you're going to know the truth. And the truth is going to make you free. Those that seek Yahuwah with all the heart, with all the soul, with all the strength, let Yahuwah be, be found by you. May you find Yahushua, the light of Yahuwah. May you find Yahushua, the light of this world. Yahuwah chapter 8, verse 2. Another connected Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27 Yet what will scatter you among the peoples and, if, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which Yet what will drive you All right, this, So this is talking about the remnant the remnant who will seek Yet in Yahushua name Seven, yet what will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to, to wish yet what will drive you. 28. That you will worship men made mighty ones, idols of wood, this idol, and stone. All right, which cannot see or hear or eat or smell. 29. But if from there you seek Yahuwah, your Almighty, you will find Yahuwah if you seek Him with all your heart, with all your soul. John, Yahuwah, chapter 8 to the 2. Yahuwah yeah, chapter 8, 32. The connect when you that in the land of our captivities, if we were scattered, if we seek Yahuwah with all our heart, for our soul, for our strength, for our mind, we will find Yahuwah. And the precept is Yahuwah chapter 8, 32.
set it to. Okay, let me read it again. That will connect perfectly. Data run ratio of the eight thirty two. Data run ratio of the four twenty seven. Yet all will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to wish Yahuwah would drive you. 28. That you will worship mighty ones. You will worship men made mighty ones. Mighty ones of wood and stone. So you're talking about this image. The symbol of this image is the cross, which is the wood. And the other mighty one is Allah, the copper stone, the black copper stone. Christianity is a curse. Islam is a curse as well. Mighty one of wood, Christianity. Mighty one of stone. Islam, the copper stone, the black copper stone. And the deity, the idol, the spirit that's over all these religions. Is G O D in English is L O R D Law in Arabic is Allah Ba'o Ba'o is Allah Allah is Ba'o and there you worship may may mighty ones idols of wood and stone which can I see or hear or eat or smell but if from there you seek Yahuwah your Almighty you will find Yahuwah if you seek him with all your heart with all your soul 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so we are in the land of our captivities, if we humble ourselves and seek Yahuwah, our Almighty, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and then we want to know the truth, and Yahushua the truth is going to make us free. I like Yahuwah in Yahushua name. I give all praises to Yahuwah in Yahushua name.